Allen Iverson, the answer, is finally going to officially retire on the oh, yeah. uh, 76ers home opener against the Miami Heat. I believe it's October, October 30th, excuse me, October 30th. Now, he's been retired, you could say, since 2010. A, a good amount of all-star games. The last team, the Nuggets. What was the last team? He Pistons. Oh God, I forgot about the Pistons run. Okay. You did, didn't you? Yeah. Not not too many good times with the Pistons. He was riding the pine, unfortunately. Yeah. He still probably could have contributed. Now, personally, for me, I would love to see him return to a failing franchise like I don't know. The Kings just gave up on uh, uh, Tyreek Evans. I'd did, like to um, see him go to... A, yeah, Tyreek Evans is with the Pelicans now. I'd love to see... Yeah, not the Hornets, the Pelicans. Yeah. I would love to see Allen Iverson just come back for a game. <laughs> he's 38 years old. But, I mean, he's officially, officially retiring. Uh, greatest moment that you could think of from Allen Iverson? Ugh. I know I'm putting you on the spot. Ugh. Crossing well, over Jordan. There's two of the first two that came to mind. Crossing over Jordan. Stepping over to Ron Lou after he hits the fadeaway against the, the Lakers. Those are the first two. Those are the easy ones, right? <laughs> yeah. Those are the first two. Because yeah. that's how much I hate the Lakers. And I hated Ron Lou at the time because he was on the Lakers and he was a pain in the ass. <laughs> so when he did that Great to him, corners, though. Huh? Yo, yeah, great corners. Yeah, and then, like, th there's, there's this... Tron Lou, I mean, I love you, man. I think he's an assistant somewhere. I've seen him on some he sidelines. He is, yeah. Uh, he's with, um, oh, man. He might be with, he's not with the Celtics. I don't remember. Yeah, like, oh, so the thing is, there was a disdain. Anybody who ends up in a Laker uniform, I have a, a level of disdain for. I'm having a hard time with my fellow Trojan who is now on the Lakers. Um, cause Nick like Young? Nick Young. I, I, I you know. It's going to be a problem for me. But <laughs> you ever had love for Nicky? Yeah, totally. He's you Georgian, did? man. Yeah, he played great at the USC. So, um, and and he, he actually, he was he was played well all the time against the Lakers. Ben he, tells the story of how Nick Young could put up 30 points on, like, I don't know, 12 of 18 shooting, zero rebounds, <laughs> zero assists, <laughs> zero steals. That's a Nick he Young kind of game. He played great with the Clippers, too. He played great with the Wizards. Didn't play great. Of course he did. He was the reason for that one comeback against the Grizzlies in the playoff series two years ago. He didn't he was play great. Okay. He, he will cost you more losses than more he, wins. But they would have lost that. I would love to see his plus minus, by the way. Who I would cares? love to you see You're looking through my too many numbers. I'm talking about that particular game. That's when what he it's about, great. man. I'm talking about that particular game when he played great. Okay, he played say. good in one game. Yeah. Congratulations. So, so your numbers, since you have so many numbers, Nick Young has played one great game in his entire career. That's what your numbers are, right? I'm saying that he's going to lose you more ball games than he's going to win. That's why I would invest in him. However, the Lakers invested in him for what, one point eight million dollars yeah, for yeah, one year. Yeah, and then if Kobe can't come back like he wants to, you have a little something that's going to be there. You, not, you got a fraction a of Kobe. Yeah, everything's going to be a fraction right, of Kobe you bring in. Going back to Iverson. Yeah. Uh, would those you, two would moments, you, of course. Would you want to see him come back? Would you ever want to see? You know what? Maybe he could do it. No, because I don't think he can. Really? No. Come on, man. Hey, I can ball. He came back before, and look what happened, man. Look, we saw him in Detroit. Was it just the coach's decision, the reason he didn't play? Yeah, it was. But, I mean, I don't remember it, who was the coach just was. that coach's decision? Yeah. Because you think he would have played somewhere else and just been a superstar? No. No, he wouldn't have been a superstar, man. but I think he could have contributed. Absolutely. Contributed. Like, I don't know, this thing. When, you, when, you're, at the, when you're at the level of, of stardom that Iverson was, and then you can't do it all, everyone's expecting that, and he probably expects it. He's on a stage. And if he does 35, 40% of it, we're like, oh, what the hell? Because <laughs> we expect more than what's in reality. Because they're, 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 they're super prime interest. Iverson. And as I think you were talking yesterday, we yeah. grew up on Iverson. We did. So we were kids. I had his shoes, man. Yeah, we were kids idolizing this guy. So as adults, there's somewhere in our brain, we're still a kid. I think all sports fans are like this. We're children somewhere in our brain, and we still want to see that. We're like, as kids, we get so excited to see this guy do the impossible. And he can't do it anymore. And we understand it as adults. But somewhere in our brain, we don't understand Give it. Give me we a still, few. Yeah. You know, we, we still, we still want to see it, and he can't do it. Give me a few words. How are you going to remember AI? I would say fashion sense. I don't remember his fashion, really? Yeah. Outside the he rose. brought the hip-hop culture to the NBA. He, he, he wore the hat directly to the side. <laughs> he, he had the cornrows. Mm -hmm. he, he brought the sort of hip-hop culture to the NBA, and then that's why David Stern said, oh, no, 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 no more white yeah. beaters. No, 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 suit and tie. Yeah. And he was, he was one of the toughest guys. He, I remember, I think when I was in college, because um, they always talk about how his wingspan was bigger than any most his size because he was six feet, one seven. LeBron said he was 5'10". Really? Yeah. Yeah, because everyone always inflates. So he's that short, he's that skinny, and he took all that punishment. He always went to the lane. And then when he shot, he shot over 
two guards that were six seven over him, yep. and it just made it look easy. You Very know, that's, easy. That's that's impossible. What he just did. So I, in in some ways, I mean, we idolize guys like Jordan and uh, and and you know the Reggie Millers and the Larry Birds and the Magic Johnson. The Magic Johnson was fucking six ten or six eleven. You know, and it was amazing because he did—he was a guard play with that kind of size. Yes. So the complete opposite being a guard that's undersized playing against guards that are a that shooting big, guard, not a, a point shoot, guard, yeah. a shooting guard. It's yeah. impossible stuff he did. Now anyone, because I was thinking, because this is when he was listed at six feet. Sure. I was like, man, in college I was six foot one sixty-five. I was like, I can't imagine doing these things in a league. And he goes to the hole and just gets beat up. Yeah. And gets back up. It was the, that's I always remember that because they talked about all the injuries he had and how he just he was fearless and he was good at it. 11-time All-Star, Rookie of the Year, 96, 2001 MVP, 19th in scoring with 24,368 points. Career average, points per game, want to take a guess? Um, 29. 26.7, close. Mm. 6.2 assists per game, that was astounding, that number. When you thought, like, oh, Iverson doesn't pass, yeah. he can't get along with Melo in Denver. Apparently he passed. Yeah. Uh, and he played 13 years, 38 years old, Allen Iverson. Amazing, man. First ballot Hall of Famer, no yeah, doubt about easily. it.